our positronium cooling is so important because it opens up completely the field, or actually reopens up the field after 30 years of precision positronium spectroscopy, which was hampered by the lack of cold positronium sources beyond more or less the room temperature. In ages, we are interested in studying antimatter systems in gravitational fields in general. And in this result in particular, we're, we have been working with positronium. Positronium is an atom. It's actually the lightest atom you can form in nature. It's so light it doesn't even exist on the periodic table. Why? Because it's made of an electron and its antimatter counterpart, a positron. And these two don't live together for long. They just stay alive for about 100 billionth of a second. That's a positronium atom. And so we are particularly in love as physicists with, for positronium because being made only of electrons and anti-electron, the positron, it's a clean system. It's made of point-like particles. And so we can calculate very accurately its energy levels and it's a perfect system to do experiments with. We at Aegis, we have been cooling positronium. We have been developing this technique to use light as a way to form a molas, an optical molas that applies friction to the positronium atoms and reduces their thermal vibrations. This is our production chamber. Inside this chamber, we have a positron, positronium converter target. And from this side, we have a pulsed positron beam um, that is being implanted uh, into the target surface. The, most of the positrons, they annihilate upon impact with the target, but uh, a certain fraction, about 30%, they catch an electron inside the target or at the target surface and form positronium. From now on, we will be able in the next years to push the boundaries of precision spectroscopy and to the level of maybe getting to the point of starting to observe the effects of the motion of Earth around Sun's orbit by probing this uh, particular frequency of positronium and observing the gravitational redshift. This would be the first milestone experiment with gravitation and antimatter using only a purely leptonic system.